Shalom, and welcome back to Bnei Noach Academy, Thoughts on Life. At the end of Passover, that is the seventh day, we commemorate the, one of the greatest miracles of all time, and that is the splitting of the sea. When the Jewish people went through, as it says, on dry land, and then later, as the Egyptians who were pursuing them came closer, the waters came crashing down and drowned them all. And as the Jewish people turned back, they saw that their enemies were totally wiped out. This is such a great miracle that many times throughout the Talmud, when we want to use an expression of something being so great or so challenging, so overwhelming, we use the example as the splitting of the sea, quote unquote. Here's the question. Was it really necessary? What was this all about? Why did God split the sea? Why did he do this? What was the purpose? Well, if it was, one was to argue that perhaps the purpose is in order to have the Jews cross from point A to point B, and the reality was that water was in the way, well, that's not the case. First of all, if there was an obstruction of a pool, a body of water, God could have just picked them up and carried them over the water. That would have been a perfectly fine miracle. Moreover, if one actually follows the trajectory that they took from when they went into the water and came out, it's not like they came in at one point and came out at the opposite point, but rather they almost made like a U-turn and just came out at another point of the water, almost at the same side of where they entered. And that, of course, enhances the question, why did it happen? Why was this necessary? What is the symbol in this? Well, the answer lies in the fact that the Talmud says, and today, of course, we know this scientifically. We have actual human proof for this, as we now have the means, the technology to go down to the bottom of the sea, to see things in the, in the, in the oceans, in the sea, that we've never been able to see before. We've never been privy to. But the Talmud already thousands of years ago, this is God's wisdom in the Torah, tells us that there is a parallel world, so to speak, a parallel universe to the universe that we live in, that we know. And whatever there is, quote, whatever there is on dry land, there is under the water in the sea. It's a whole universe. It's a whole world. It's just that it is covered. It is concealed. When you look at the waters, you don't see it. The only thing you see is if there's any type of sea life that manages to come up to the top. But that's very minuscule compared to the enormous amount of creatures and plants and so on and so forth that exists. It's almost like a whole ecosystem in itself. So this waters is a symbol of concealment. Splitting the waters is a symbol of revelation. Thus, God split the sea. It wasn't just the physical sea that split, but as we see in the song, which came spontaneously and prophetically as a response to this great miracle, what did they say? This is my God, and I will honor him. When you say this, that's an indicator that the thing you're talking about is present, is there, is visible. This what is my God means that they saw godliness. This was their first experience to actually see godliness, something that typically a human being cannot do. So understand that even compared to all the miracles that took place thus far, remember they experienced the 10 plagues and the exodus from Egypt and all the details of the miracles that took place and that were involved in this exodus, that was pale in, in comparison to this enormous revelation that they had at the splitting of the sea. This was to prepare them, of course, to their next phase of the journey, which is Mount Sinai, the ultimate revelation at you know the giving of the Torah, the, the uh, revelation of God on Mount Sinai to announce to them the Ten Commandments. Thus, on this day, that is the seventh day of Passover, 
We celebrate revelation of godliness. And I want to say something. You, I, all of us, we all have those moments when we can see clearly, without any doubt, almost vividly, as if it's in front of our eyes, we can see godliness. We can see the hand of God. Those are our moments of the, quote, splitting of the sea. When God splits away the concealment, he cracks open somewhat and gives us a little view, a little sense, a greater awareness of godliness. Cherish those moments, celebrate them, and use them to continuously encourage yourself, even when sometimes things get a little difficult and there is concealment and we're bobbing around figuratively in the waters of concealment. Remember, God splits the sea. God makes those revelations in order to remind us that he is there and he is there all the time, even when the waters are concealing, even when things are not exactly the way we would like them to be. So cherish those moments.